man, I know y'all looking at this title and like, no way. You bugging. I'm going to tell y'all this. I don't put it past anybody in hip hop. We living in a time where the truth is being revealed in many different ways. And what made me want to do this video was I was reading Juicy J's book, Chronicles of the Juice, man. Big shout out to him and Soren Baker for sending me a copy of this. Big shout out to you guys. And he made an interesting claim here. He says here, it wasn't just bone though. When I heard when I heard how Biggie Smalls had sampled Mutumbi's Juicy Fruit song for his single, Juicy, I thought Biggie might have heard my mixtapes. The reason I thought this was because I was calling myself the Notorious Juicy J on my mixtapes, even before he started calling himself the Notorious B.I.G. on one of my mixtapes. I even used the Juicy Fruit beat and scratched my name Juicy in it. Our music was popular in, music in Memphis, but I knew people in our other cities were hearing it too. Now, I'm not saying Biggie took anything from me, but I felt like he did. Not to mention the fact that that Mississippi rapper that claimed that Biggie copied the Juicy Fruit, that he's called himself the Notorious B1, had the single called Big Daddy using the same sample. Then he said, from the Mississippi all down to the East Coast. The truth of the matter is, Big was probably, they was listening to a lot of the South, but nobody was really giving credit for it. Now, it could be a coincidence. I don't know. Just like this, just like the Mob Deep and uh, South Central Cartel thing, that could be an incident. It could be a true coincidence. We don't ever know. But I just thought it was an interesting excerpt from his book. And this is a real good book, by the way. Definitely check this out when y'all get time. But let me know what you guys think of the comments. Do you believe Juicy J? Let me know how.